We're Nicole Amico, and for the last six months, we have been slow traveling through Mexico, making our way to Central America with our dog Evie. After soaking in some of the best sights Mexico has to offer, it's finally time to start our crossing into the fourth country of our season four road trip, Guatemala. Well, that is what we would be saying if Mexico actually allowed us to leave. You see, this video was supposed to be where we show you our journey to the Mexico-Guatemala border, but we've run into a problem getting a health certificate for Evie, which is required in order for us to bring her into Guatemala. So, I think we were really screwed up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, really screwed I up. I think this is... I can't believe we messed this up. Are you gonna explain it? I just went to the vet to talk about getting a health check for the dog before we go to Guatemala. And I was trying to get the health certificate and whatnot and inquired about vaccinations and things for the dog for the rabies vaccination. And the vet told me that she actually technically doesn't have a valid rabies vaccination because they don't recognize it here in Mexico. They don't recognize the kind of vaccine she has. Yeah, like the one that we got in Canada, the rabies vaccine was is valid for three years, mm -hmm. but from Mexico regulation, he was telling me that it's technically not valid. They only accept it for one year. I don't know why exactly, but the result is that he can't issue he, the he health certificate. He can't provide us the health check. She has to re give her the new rabies vaccine, and because they consider her current vaccine expired, we have to wait 28 days after they issue her vaccine before he can complete the health form saying she's good and vaccinated. Why this is such a big problem is because the permit for the car expires in 11 days from today. So even if we vaccinated her today, the car has to be out of the country in 11 days. It has to be, or we lose a $400 deposit and we're not allowed to bring the car back into Mexico. <laughs> Maybe we should have done the research a little earlier to get into well, Guatemala. What's funny is I was doing a bunch of this research and like all the websites are like, yeah, you need a valid, you know, a valid rabies vaccine to get into Guatemala. It has to be valid for the length of your stay in Guatemala. And I'm like, cool, we have that. That's fine. We have a valid rabies vaccine, but only valid, like not accepted here or Guatemala. Guatemala also won't consider her three years rabies vaccine valid. Yeah, so to get into Guatemala, the she needs a, to have had a rabies vaccine within the last year. Full stop. Full stop. So that's an issue. Oh my gosh. So it's gonna take 30 days to get her vaccinated and get that approved and, and turn into yeah. a certificate. However, we have to leave with a car in 11 days. Thankfully, Miko and I, our visa isn't actually gonna expire because we secretly each had to make a trip home to Canada. Sorry, we didn't film that. <laughs> But we did each have to make a trip home to Canada very briefly for different reasons. So our visa's fine, at least. But we the just, car. We just gotta do something with the car. Oh my god. What are we gonna do? I don't know. We were supposed to, like, we had all the rest of our plans through Mexico finished. Like, accommodations booked. We're ready <laughs> yeah. to do the next, like, yeah. 10 days. All we gotta do is get the dog, like, you know, get her health, health check done. Which we tried to do today. Oh gosh. I just like, this is like our first real border crossing in Central America and we're screwing it up. <laughs> well, we're not screwing it up. That the dog! He was screwing it up! What do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> Are you making a stay here? <laughs> like, I'm so cute. You didn't take me, right? Should we just leave you here, dog? Oh no. No, 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 no. Well, we still haven't figured out exactly how we are going to deal with the whole car situation and getting that out of Mexico in time, but what we definitely are certain about is that the dog needs to get her new rabies vaccine. So we are off to the vet to at least get that done and tick that box and then hopefully start the countdown for how many days we have to remain in the country before her vaccine is like considered official. Cause I think it's a 28 day time where that starts and then she's officially considered vaccinated against rabies. Then we could hopefully at that point get into Guatemala. So first step, get this kid her vaccine.
We did it! We did it! Oh my gosh! She did it! She was so good, although she was very scared. But now we have officially set the timer to start. And we are here until this dog is fully activated on her vaccine. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, the countdown begins when we can officially leave Mexico now. Oh my goodness. Hi, yay, yay. With Evie vaccinated to the Mexican standard, there's nothing left for us to do in Oaxaca but hit the road to get closer to the Guatemalan border. Our next destination of choice is San Cristobal de las Casas. Located just three hours from the Mexican-Guatemalan border, this place will be the perfect home base while we wait the 28 days for Evie's vaccines to take full effect and figure out this quickly expiring car permit dilemma. So we've been like back at the drawing board trying to figure out how on earth do we make all of this work when the dog can't leave and the car has to leave. And uh, I think the result that we came to, the only conclusion that we can come to, is that Miku actually has to take the car across the border from Mexico into Guatemala and then bring it back. And I have to stay in Mexico with the dog. Like we really, there's no other option for us. Like we thought about, could we, um, you know, could I, could we like extend our, our permit? Could we, become temporary residents and get <laughs> extra, you know, extra time with our permit. But the yeah. only way to do it is to go across the border. To be yeah. clear, we did a lot of research to figure out if it was possible to extend our car permit, starting with credible sources like government websites and trusted articles, all the way to more questionable information silos like Facebook, travel blogs, and the deep trenches of Reddit. We went as far as to ask this Facebook famous permit expert guy named Pat, and even he said that a border run is our only option. And the reason that we really can't like just miss the deadline and hope for the best when we do go to leave is because of a few things. One, when we entered the country of Mexico, the, the temporary import permit, we had to give them a $400 uh, deposit to go along with it. And if we don't get the car out within six months, we lose the $400 deposit. The other issue is that the car really is not allowed to be here past six months. So let's say we got stopped by police somewhere. Um, after the six month date and they ask for our papers and we don't have any legit papers, they could just impound the car. And obviously with both of us, all of our stuff and the dog, you know, losing the car <laughs> would be a really big problem for us. So we really can't risk that. Um, so we don't, we don't really have a choice. The car has to get out of Mexico. So instead of both Miko and I and the dog all going to Guatemala in this video, we are now on our way driving from Oaxaca City to San Cristobal. And in San Cristobal, I'm gonna stay with the dog for a couple of days while Miko makes the hopefully two day journey to the Guatemala border and then back from the Guatemala border. <laughs> That's the goal at least. And I'll be crossing into Guatemala, ex exporting our car, getting our deposit back, getting into Guatemala, finding some hotel to stay at for a night. Yeah. And then going back into Mexico, getting new permits again for another six months, mm -hmm. just so that we can hang out in, in Mexico for a f literally three more weeks yeah. until her vaccine is considered valid. <laughs> And then we finally get to leave then we could, together. But then we could do, yeah, do the border crossing together. It's worth mentioning that later in this drive, we had a slight change in strategy. You see, when we were doing research about renewing car permits, we only ever came across situations where a person's tourist visa was expiring at the same time as their car permit. In this situation, it makes sense that a person would have to leave the country with their car. Our situation is a little different because our tourist visas are actually valid for another three months past our car permit as a result of the quick flights to Canada we each took in the middle of our Mexican road trip. So with that in mind, we came up with two plans. Plan A is to have Miko drive the car to the border, cancel the car permit, and apply for a new one at the same time, all in the same office and without having to leave Mexico. If this works, it will only be possible because our tourist visas are still valid for another few months. This is the best case scenario since Miko can head to the border and back all in one day. Plan B is the original plan, where Miko drives the car to the border, cancels the car permit, is forced to leave Mexico and go to Guatemala only to come back to Mexico the next day and be issued a new car permit and tourist visa. This is the option we really don't want because it requires a lot of time, effort, and money. Hopefully, we only have to resort to this option if there's a random rule in place or we get a stickler of a border agent, but I mean, that just never happens at border offices, right? 
Oh my gosh, like what a journey. It's just been such a mess to get it all organized. I feel like we were so on track and so excited and then this obviously came and it's like, oh, we can't leave, well, Evie can't leave the country. What are we gonna do? So it's been a, it's been a bit of a wild week, but we got our vaccination done and we have a new plan. So let the journey begin. Jumping from cliffs so high, trusting our wings to fly. Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I, let's figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down We just arrived in San Cristobal de las Casas and we met the, ho the host of our Airbnb and he walked us around. And this place is stunning, I'm so excited. If we're gonna be delayed and have to stay in Mexico, this is such a good place to do it. It's so beautiful in here. As soon as you walk into the room, it's just this big, huge open space on the main level. And there's like a seating area, which actually could be used as like a, another bed if we really wanted to <laughs> over here with like a corner TV and a little chair. And they've got tons of really nice little touches in this Airbnb. So there's a bunch of uh, videos we could watch here. There's like a whole Xbox that I think Miko's actually pretty excited to, to get into at some point while we're here. The actual kitchen space has like two tables. I think we'll probably end up working on that table. And then here's like the dining room table. But like, look at how big this place is. Like it's humongous. Mm, this place, it really looks like a, almost like an Ikea designer set. But oh, like- But like rustic. But then you bought everything from Etsy. You know? Yeah. <laughs> you come up the stairs. There's the bedroom and the bathroom up on this floor, as well as I think a storage space. And like the theme just continues right into the bedroom. Small little double bed. Lots of storage space for our stuff in the closet. And I love the theme that they have going on of like this light blue and white, like rustic, thin coat of paint on everything. It's so beautiful. And then of course, we've got the bathroom, which is a full, nice big bathroom. There's hot water here because it's gonna get cold overnight and in the mornings. I just wanna point out that the reason why Nicole's really loving the color choice here is because I bet you it reminds you of our of our town home back in Canada. I know. When we were living at home in Canada, it uh, had the same it's, kind of color style. This and this is the was, color scheme this, we chose. This was also kind of the style that we chose. It really was. But <laughs> no one here to this level. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited. We found this place on Airbnb. And on Airbnb, it's like, I think like $70 a night or something. And we just talked to them and said, hey, like we'd be interested in extending our stay. Do you have a rate for off of Airbnb if we just pay you directly? And uh, sure enough, they did. So we booked the first two nights on Airbnb. And then the rest of it, we're just exchanging we send the money through like our WISE account, which is how we transfer money abroad. Um, and we're paying like $40 a night. And if I have to be anywhere without you for a few days, this is a good spot. Right? This it's a good is start. true. It's a good start. Yeah. And the hosts live next door. So if I really am in a bind, then I have people right next door to help me out. So. ready to be here without me? No. <laughs> I'm not ready to be apart. We're uh, never apart. It's going to be so strange. Hopefully it's only just going to be like maybe. one day. Maybe I'll it'll just be today. I'll just come back later today. I if I, Assuming I can just go to the border, get a new permit, and then come back. Yeah, I think... And my, I don't have to leave the country. Yeah. My fear is that like something's going to go wrong and you're going to be gone for like, like longer. A than, month. Long, yeah, like, <sighs> like until I can get to you or something. I only packed like two days worth of clothing. <laughs> I don't love this. <laughs> All right. Love you too. Love you too.
just like that, I am officially off for the first time ever by myself in the car driving to who knows where. I don't know if I'm gonna be in Mexico by then today. I don't know if I'm gonna be in, in Guatemala by then today. I'm really just open for anything and I packed the smallest bag I can. It's about 8 a.m. right now and uh, I have I think three hours of driving until the border. But before I get to the border, I'm actually going to try and stop at a, an, a town two hours away and uh, hopefully get some printing done because I haven't been able to print out the photocopies that I need for my passport and the car registration. And I'm hoping I could do that at the border or I'm hoping I could do that at this town. There seems to be like a, like an office depot sort of place that uh, looks like they do uh, photocopy services. Oh well, just play it by ear and see how it goes. I can't quite decide who I'd rather be today. Me or Miko? <laughs> I feel like, I mean, I'm gonna have a more relaxing day. No doubt about that. But I also feel like I'm missing out on an adventure. Like, this is such a cool adventure and he's doing it without me. And that makes me really sad. <laughs> so I'm kind of jealous that he gets to go to the border and just figure all this out and like really flex that traveler muscle. I love flexing the traveler muscle. So anyways, I'm a little jealous. I think that what is gonna be the most difficult about this whole scenario is that we don't speak Spanish. If we spoke good enough Spanish, sorry, I'm making my breakfast while I tell you all this. If we spoke good enough Spanish to really explain to the border patrol people like what has happened, then I think this would honestly not be that big a deal. But because we're stuck using Google Translate and just getting by with hand gestures, uh, yeah, I think that it's gonna be a lot more challenging. So for breakfast this morning, we have cottage cheese with chia seeds, cinnamon, a little bit of honey, because this cottage cheese is usually very flavorless, I have found here in Mexico, which is fine. I just add a little bit of honey. And we gotta cut up some apple for it. That much is good. <laughs> I'll just take the little guy. I usually eat the rest of my apple right before a workout in the afternoon. I mean, if everything goes to plan, maybe he'll be home for dinner. That would be ideal. There we go. I press the champions. relatively painless honestly the waiting in traffic took longer than the actual photocopying I just made a whole bunch of photocopies of my passport car registration insurance basically everything that I think I would need in color and three of them so I think all that's left to do now is get back into the car and uh, head to the border which is just about an hour and away hour away maybe get some gas along the way and maybe get a coffee but uh, yeah, officially done photocopies. Should have all the documents I need, no matter what's happening today, hopefully. This is crazy, I was just checking something on my phone. I didn't realize this, but the Bannercito to get my deposit back closes at 2 p.m. I got one hour left until that banner seat till closes, otherwise I'm stuck here until tomorrow. I didn't realize that when I was going through all this paperwork. I guess that's why, I guess that's why they say you should do this early. I didn't realize it closes at two. Ooh, this is cutting it close. This is cutting it close and I really don't like this. I don't want to have to stay one night in this town just because I missed the entire thing by 
30 minutes like or something like that and I don't I don't want them to tell me that I had to have come in at least a couple hours earlier to do all this okay here's the place Hola, buenas tardes. ¿Dónde está el uh, bannercito por... Uh, eh, eh, uh, ¿Permiso? Per, per, permiso, sí. ¿Vas a salir de México, entrar a Guatemala? Sí. Uh, yo tengo permiso, pero uh, uh, yo quiero uh, uh, cancel. Cancelar. Cancelar, salir a México y en, entrar en Guatemala. Ok. Desde la vuelta y se pone el carril de en medio. Bannercito, aquí así eres. 8 8 de la noche Bannercito okay. Cierra a las 8 Cierra a las 8 si no hay tiempo Mucho tiempo Ok On, on uh, Google Cierra a las 12 A uh, 12 en punto 2 2 Aquí Aquí <risa> es, Está on, mal la información um, Ok Ahora oh. han, este, <risa> Actualizado Ok So Pero si sí es a las 8 Ok um, un momento, solo un poco español. Un momento, ¿qué? Okay? I have a permit for my car, but it actually expires in two days. I want to see if I can renew my permit, but still stay in Mexico. Do you think that's possible? We're done. Sí se puede. Sí se puede. Pero en ventanilla. Okay. Tienes que bajar. Tienes que volver. Y okay. comentarle eso okay. a mi, al oficial, ¿ok? Sí, sí, sí. Ok, muchas gracias. De vuelta. Yeah. Ok. Ok, I think I might just been hit with the first good news of today. There's the guy was saying, and I'm trying my best to understand, see if I can understand him. He thinks I'm, it's possible for me to get a permit. Just renew my permit and, uh, you know, um, stay in Mexico. So, oh my gosh, this would be amazing, amazing news. He says, go inside and tell the person that, and then uh, hopefully you can uh, get all your information in order and, oh my gosh, go home in the same day without having to leave and go to Guatemala. I want to go to Guatemala, but I don't want to go right now. Um, we're doing this all for the dog. So let's, uh, so let's see if we can get this done. It's been 40 minutes since Miko texted me telling me that he got to the uh, border. I haven't heard anything. Oh, I don't love it. I keep checking his location and he's still just at the border in like the same building that he's been in for 40 minutes. So I, I mean, I hope, I'm go hope it's going well. I don't know, I'm not sure. Hopefully he's talking to somebody and getting help and I don't know. Ugh, I hate the waiting. If he's just sleeping through all the waiting. <laughs> But I hate the waiting. Okay, good news and bad news. <laughs> okay. What do you want first? Um, good news. I'm not leaving Mexico! Yes! Yes! He canceled it. It was kind of funny because he's like, do you want to cancel it? You want to get your def deposit back by card or cash? And I'm like, efectivo. And then we're like, kind of look at each other like, más fácil, like, So then basically yeah. he counts the 400, he gives me the $400, I look at it, I count it, <laughs> and I give it back to him <laughs> for, so that I could give him the deposit back. So the bad news is uh, it's, not six, it's not a six month permit, it just goes until the end of my, um, my uh, what do you call it? The end of my FMM. visa, yeah, at the end of my FMM. Which is totally fine because who cares? <laughs> We're gonna be out of here. Yeah, that's fine. And like, be out of the country then too. I mean, hopefully we'll be out of here in three months. <laughs> and then he officially also gave me the new one. And it's perfect. good for another 88 days from now. 
Oh, I'm so glad it worked. So it worked. So basically, I'm, I'm free to go. I'm, I've already left the border-ish a little bit, um, and I'm gonna he head start heading back to, um, and heading back to you. Be safe. Okay. Oh, thanks for thanks for doing this, baby. I'm so 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 glad it worked. Me too. All right. I love you. Talk to you soon. Okay. I love you too. Bye. Okay. Bye. Oh, that was the best news we could have asked for today. I'm so 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 glad. So now we just have to wait <laughs> like a month <laughs> until Evie's rabies vaccine is fully in her. No, it's not quite a month. It's less than that because it's it's actually been in her already over a week. Hey, that's pretty good. Uh, so that's good news. So that means we'll hang out inside Crystal Ball for a little while. Uh, we're gonna stay here, I think, the whole time is the plan. We can get lots of work done. There's some really, really cool stuff to do here inside Crystal Ball. So we'll spend our time doing some really cool stuff here and exploring this area. It's not like there's like not enough for us to do in Mexico still. There is tons for us to do in this country. So, not, not bad at all. This is the best news we could have asked for today. I feel like we had such different days. <laughs> oh, come in the house. Oh, come in. Hi. Oh, you're so excited. So excited. Are you tired? I'm so tired. I feel like I've just had a, like a long day at work. I just finished working out. Look how yeah. greasy I am. Oh, good for you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Is that it then? Yeah. I guess okay. we're officially here for the next at least couple weeks. until the uh, until this dog is fully rabiified. Rabies activated. <laughs> vaccinated. <laughs> And, uh, yeah. Okay, so we'll see you guys in the next episode for hopefully the San Cristobal area. At least that's the plan, but we'll see. I'm going to get some sleep. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and come along for the journey. And uh, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. It turns out getting sick in Mexico may have actually been one of the greatest things to happen to us because if we had been able to leave Mexico as planned, we never would have explored San Cristobal de las Casas and the nearby Sumadero Canyon, which have become two of our favorite places in Mexico. If you aren't subscribed yet, click the button down below and turn on notifications so you don't miss next week's video where we fall in love with Southern Mexico.